We are at the second of two anti-gun violence rallies here at the scene where Kiara, who is known by Kiki, where she perished. And in the first of the two rallies this morning, her parents finally broke their silence. They could not keep silent any longer. Please have mercy for her, please. Don't forget her, please. We won't. The parents of 11-year-old Kiara Tay made an emotional appeal for justice following the death of their daughter, who was killed by a stray bullet in an attack in broad daylight on Monday. I'm gonna be living in pain the rest of my life, yo. I want that person to suffer in pain, yo. I don't want him to die, I want him to suffer, yo. He needs to suffer, man. The way he feels, he needs to feel. His parents need to feel this, man. He's like my baby. My first boy, yo. The parents cried out completely spontaneously as a rally against gun violence was ending. At the event, public advocate Jumani Williams had brought his three-month-old daughter when he embraced the parents while holding his baby, they began to weep. He said that the best way to help is to fund more services. And let's stop lying to these parents about what we're doing and not doing. Kiara was killed around 4.50 Monday afternoon when two people on a motor scooter drove down the sidewalk across the street. The passenger shot at a man as they rode by and missed. The apparent intended target ran away, and a stray bullet hit Kiara, who'd been with her cousins heading toward the nail salon here. Today, District Attorney Darcel Clark addressed everyone involved in the crime. We coming for you. That was her at the podium. But after the parents broke down, so did she. How do you explain an 11-year-old girl being happy and getting her nails done and she's dead now? I'm telling them directly, turn yourself in now because people are after you. And it starts with the community as well. Give them up. The streets, back in the day, the streets would give them up. You are not allowed to kill children. But it was the victim's family at the center of the call for justice. They said that if Kiara had known who'd killed someone, she would have come forward. They said they want others to do so for her. My daughter would have said it. If she knew who did it, she would have talked. She would have found out who did it. She would have said something. That's the person she is. She was supposed to be 12 in December, man. She couldn't even make it, yo. Now I'm going to have to celebrate her birthday without her, man. <laughs> And it has been pointed out at both rallies that this tragedy is not isolated. Nearly 50 children have been shot in New York City alone this year. Coming up at 6 o'clock, more on what law enforcement and community members say has to be done to lower that rate and try and stop this awful trend.